Hello, I'm Dana Manciagli of CutTheCrapGetAJob.com. Today, I'd like to talk to you about a three-week game plan to get a job. I know many of you job seekers that you're just struggling with the process and how to get it organized. So I'd like to give you a three-week process to get going and ramp up a great job search. First of all, if you're not organized, you're going to miss opportunities. You're going to miss getting an interview or following up with somebody that you committed to, or you remember to call somebody, but then you forgot and it's too late. So most of the winners of jobs today are focused, they're organized, they're running it like a project or like a business. And that's what I want to help you embrace. You organize other things all the time. Homework assignments when you were in college and school. Home, when to pick up and take the kids and when you have to do this and that and run errands. And finally, in business, many of you in your current jobs, whether it's business, nursing, any profession, you're constantly organizing for your company. But why is it that we drop that those skills and that organizational behavior for the job search? So let's bring it back. I want to raise the bar with you and for you on steps one, two, and three, and that's weeks one, two, and three. So picture it as a staircase, and but it's going to be cumulative. So the things that you do week one, you need to continue weeks two and three. We add more in week two and add more in week three. There are plenty of tools to help you, and this video blog won't go deeply into the tools. Come back and we'll show you more on a separate blog. However, whatever tool you use, regardless if it's a PC or a pen and paper and a binder, let's talk about week one. Week one is all about preparing to job search. Do not apply to any jobs. Start fresh, even if you have been. Stop applying. Start preparing. What that means is you're now going to stop and set a goal and be really crisp on what your job search goal is. What does that position look like? Write it down. You want to update your resume, proof it again, build a tracking tool, a spreadsheet, a table, even rows on graph paper that you're going to log all of your activity and who you reach out to and which jobs you're going to apply to. If you come across job opportunities during week one, write them down. Don't jump and apply for them. They'll probably be there next week. And finally, send out network mails. Get, get a list of at least 10 people who you want to reach out to and email them asking them for a meeting the following week, 20 to 30 minutes. Okay, let's go into week two. So continue doing more of week one. Week two is about preparing to apply. And you may start applying if you do a great job in week two. First, I want you to find six job descriptions in your city, in your field, in your skill set that you not only qualify for, but you will find as great jobs. Six. For each of them, write down your skills and experience that correlate to each job. So take the job description and your resume and develop a document in the middle. Write down why you're the best fit for that job because you're going to talk about that in your cover letter that you're also going to write right now. Only after you've done your side-by-side -side comparison, then write down those three to five bullet points of why you're the best candidate for that job, pretending as if you have to present those to the hiring manager. So you have your cover letter. You're now meeting with your network as well. If you have six jobs, job descriptions, then find six people who work in those companies or might know of somebody in those companies. Closing week three, apply and follow up. You're following up with your network that you've been meeting with. You may be following up on some historical job applications that you've sent in, but most of all, you're now applying. And you're applying with, with the proof points, with the actual demonstration why you're the best candidate for them. This is not about you. It's about the hiring manager. You want to write down for every position that you're applying to, the date that you applied, and set five to seven working days ahead as your follow-up. Put that in your calendar. Write your thank you notes for anybody that you saw or talked to in week two. And keep this cycle going, but you will see how you accelerate your job search process. You will improve. You'll avoid mistakes. And what I mean by cut the crap, the crap are mistakes that job seekers make 
and excuses. And now you don't have any excuse not to ramp up your job search in three weeks or less. Thanks again. Again, danamonsiagli.com or you can go to cutthecrapgetajob.com. Thank you. I look forward to talking to you. Bye-bye.